Hi, everybody. Good morning. This is Mike Berrios of Integrity Home Finance. I wanted to go over a couple scenarios that ha that have been happening to us lately. Um, currently, if a homeowner wants to move from one home and buy another home, and they have less than 30 or 25 or 30 percent equity, depending if it's conventional or FHA, if that's the case, they have less than 25 or 30 percent percent equity, they want to move into the next home. What underwriters are starting to do now is if it's currently with the same servicer, let's say for example, they um, they currently make their payments to XYZ Bank. Now they want to purchase a new home and it's going to be funded through XYZ Bank. If the home they're moving from is over 125% equity, underwriters are looking at, looking at those scenarios a lot closer. What they're doing um, is using Zillow.com for comparables. I know Zillow is inconsistent and very conservative, but that's that's what they want to use. Um, so if the current home they're moving from is over 125% negative equity, they prefer not to place it with XYZ Bank. They are suggesting to place it with ABC Bank. The reason is because when it gets to funding or secondary market and, and selling, uh, the XYZ Bank, the first bank, may have a problem with it because they are increasing their exposure and increasing their risk of potentially having the client um, buy and bail on the home they're moving from. So for you listing agents out there, buyers agents out there, and even buyers, if you're currently approved or if you currently have a home with XYZ Bank, as an example, you may not want to get approved with XYZ Bank. You may want to want to, want to move it to ABC Bank. I hope this is making sense and I'm not rambling, but if um, you could always give me a call and if you have any questions. But just um, just keep in mind for your listing agents out there, if they currently have a home, if you are doing cross qualifications and looking at the client's um, credit and seeing if they have um, both banks and they're under and they're over 125 percent equity, you may, might want to take a second look at it and and just hope that there's no problems at the eleventh hour. I had a client just uh, last week, 720 credit score, plenty of reserves plenty of assets. It made sense that uh, they're, they're moving from one home to the next and moving to a larger home in a more desirable area. When it did get to underwriting, underwriting, um, underwriting um, the underwriter said they, they want us to move it to another investor, um, which is a little frustrating for us because it's just a it kind of, it's, it's a case by case with underwriters sometimes. Sometimes if they feel really good about the file, if they're, and if, or if they're being, um, told from head underwriting, the head of underwriting or whoever's upstairs, um, that would change the direction of the file. So I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, please give me a call for you agents, listing agents or buyers out there. Please let me know how I can help. Um, I share this information at, at several different real estate offices. Um, I have the honor of, of going to meetings, weekly meetings with. Um, so this is for the best of you that I don't have a chance to meet or, or go to your meetings. Another, another thing that I did also mention and share is we have a tool if um, if you ever are in need of a quick payment scenario or closing costs or down payment scenario save the number seven nine five six four seven nine five six four so what you do is save it as a contact as for the number if you want a more my mortgage calculator or mortgage payment the contact number is seven nine five six four so what all you have to do is text to this contact 79564 and text uh, the payment and uh, to text PMT and the purchase price. So for example, you open up your phone and you find the contact, you put in the message PMT space 250,000. No dollar sign or comma needed. So PMT space and then 250000 as an example, so if you want to 300,000, 150, then you put 150,000, 300,000. Within seconds, you get a text back with different scenarios of FHA, conventional, and VA, along with the um, the amount to come in with. Now, just keep in mind, this is just for illustration purposes, just so you can get an idea of what your client needs to come in with, an estimate, also what the payment may be. So um, I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please give me a call at 909-248-3863 or email me at mvarios at ihfinance.com.
Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.